Hi, welcome to Oxmods part 2. I'd first like to thank CMAC just for letting me know. I'd still got my jog rate override set on 50%. So no matter what I put in the velocity, I was only going to get half of it anyway. Just something I overlooked, but I'm sure I won't overlook it again. Thanks CMAC. Well, as you can see, I've been a little busy on the old wire in front. I had a bit of a problem with the breakout board and I've had to add a 12 volt supply going in. The 5 volts from the power hub is just not supplying enough for the amount of feeds that are coming out, especially once I get the end stop screen on it, so that 12 volt is really needed. I've added the Y axis, I've added the Z axis, and I've added an A axis. The A axis is going to twin up with the Y axis. It's going to be the Y slave. So it's running on two separate drivers. Right, before we go into Mac 4 and set up the Y axis and the Z axis, you really need to disconnect your 24 volts to one of your Y stepper drivers. You can't set them both up at the same time because if the planet is wrong, one's gonna go one way and one's gonna try and go the other way. So we'll, we'll unplug it now before we load up Mac 4. Right, from Mac 4, let's go into configuration, plugins, and the configuration of the motion controller. That normally on the Y is on pins 4 and pins 5. We're going to use this on motor 1 for the step, motor 1 for the direction. Again, give it a name. And Y. Click apply. OK. OK once again. And we'll go into the map configuration motors to set up motor one again we're starting on 2000 again here now we're using a NEMA 23 on the y-axis which is the same as the x-axis so really you should be able to take what you've got on your x-axis and copy it across to your y-axis so again this was 3000 and was 100. Click apply. Axis mapping. Let's turn on the Y and tell the Y you're going to be motor number one. Okay. So if we were to enable it now, um, we're going to use the Y minus to bring it to the front of the table. You'll notice it's going the wrong way. So we're going to disable this. The normal way to get this the right way around would be and go, go into Mac, go into your motors, pick the motor you want and reverse it. With a motion controller, with this particular motion controller, you can't do that. All your active flows, reverses, must be done within the configuration of the plugin. So your motor one, your direction is going the wrong way. So we're going to make that direction active low. Just the just direction. You don't need to change the step itself. Just the just direction. We'll click apply on that. Click OK. OK again. We'll enable. Now we should be going the right way. Lovely. So that's the left hand side done of that. You can disable now. So what you need to do is close down Mac 4, turn off you, your power, and you're going to unplug the power to the driver that's running that stepper, and plug the one you took out earlier back in, which is the power for the A axis. So we'll set up the slave to the Y next. Right, for the A axis, we need to again go into configure and go into our plugins motion controller config and input and outputs now pin 6 and 7 is for our Z axis so we're going to use pin 8 and pin 9 for our A axis 
and it's not going to be motor number two because that's going to be Z so we're going to use motor number three for our step and direction again just label them I'm going to use this as Y slave step and Y slave direction we haven't got the Z set up in here yet but we are going to have to enable them if you try and come out of here now and go and configure Mac with a motor missing, you'll, you'll get an error. It, it just won't allow it to happen. So you'll need to go back in to the conf configuration of the plugins and configure. And we'll just enable those. I'll be motor number two. And motor number two again. And this will be our Z step and our Z direction. Let's click apply. OK. OK once again. Back into the configurations for Mac. To our motors. We've now got everything there. We're not going to be using motor 2 at the moment. We'll turn that off. That is for our Z axis, which is after we've set up the Y. Now again with motor 3, we can set this up, it is the same as motor 1. So whatever we've got in motor 1, you're going to want in motor number 3. If you change anything in either 1 or 3, you must change it in the other, so that so they're identical. So we'll copy this across to here. Drop this down to 3000. And make this... 100. Click apply. We'll go up to our access mapping. We're going to go across to A, which is our motor number 3, and enable our motor number 3. Click apply once again. Alright, so we enable the access. Don't forget we're using the A one now, so again we'll go to the A minus. It's great, we're moving. Just exactly, we don't need to reverse any of the pins on that one so we're going to disable now we're going to go back into our Mac configuration across the axis mapping we're now going to disable the A axis go across to our Y and tell it our slave is going to be number 3 so we've got both motors running on that one we'll click apply if you enable this you should have lost your A by now yep, so you, you're back to your Y and X disable again and over on your machine again either shut down Mac 4 or turn your 24 volt power supply off just plug your other stepper motor back in So that's both motors now plugged in. We'll enable again, and we're now running both stepper motors on single drivers, which is great for the amps. Because if you if you're pulling two and a half amps or two and a half to three amps off of each motor, and you're trying to do it off of one driver of a maximum of five five amps on these drivers. That's going to get pretty hot and I would say burn out fairly quick. So let's get on and disable that. Um, we've got the X axis left to do now. So it should be pretty much straightforward for the Z axis. We've already configured our pins for the Z step and Z directory. They're already enabled in there. So we've got nothing to do in the plugin directory. In the Mac motors part, we're just going to click the motor, what we're using, which is number two. Same as we did on the X and Y axis, we'll swap that down to 50. Put our velocity to 3000. Change our acceleration to 100. Click apply and we'll go to axis mapping. We'll enable the Z. And again, it was motor 2. That's all we need to do on that one. We'll click apply. 
and click OK. So if you go to your jogging screen and enable now, that's so we'll jog this down. Oh, and that's the Y. We'll try the Z then instead. Jog it down. So, yep, we're going the right way. So exactly the same as we did on the Y axis and the X axis. We'll use our calipers and get ourselves a reference point with my nice new set of calipers that are not broken. And we'll do mine from here. So there's our reference point. Go across to where we're going. We're going to the MDI and we're going to give it the G00 command again and it's going to be the z-axis and we're going to move it to 50 before we do just zero your z-axis out otherwise it's not going to know where to go really press cycle start and then we'll measure see how far it went so we've zeroed out the calipers on 12.48 so disable and we'll go to um, configure Mac go to our motors select our motor number two again bring your calculator up same formula as before we asked for 50 so we'll divide that by what we got, which was 12.48, and then we'll multiply it by what we asked for, which was 50, which gives us 200.3205. So we'll copy that into here. Velocity is 3,100, we don't need to change them. Click apply and OK. We'll take we'll take our Z axis back down a bit. Zero it out. And there we won't wear it out there. Let's take another reference point. point cycle start to 50 zero your calipers and we've moved 49.8 so that can still be calibrated a little bit more. Well, that's all three axis now set up. They're not perfect. That will be up to you to go away and tweak them until you find them absolutely perfect. Just keep checking them until you can get consistent results. Before I end part two, there's something I just want to give you the heads up on. It's something I had problems with. If you've noticed during part one, setting up the x-axis, and part two doing the Y axis you notice I've been using the go to zero button to get my my axis back to zero to get my reference points quicker than jogging it to the, the side of the carriage well I didn't use it on the Z axis and that was for one good reason if I was to click it now it doesn't work and I thought I had something set up wrong somewhere so done a little bit of looking into it if you disable your motors and go into the operator go to your edit screen function highlight your go to zero button on your events tab just open up your lure script for it and you'll find that our programmer has been using an axis A so obviously someone there has been using a lathe we click this back to Z, 
exit out of it. Yes, we want to save it. We'll click quit out of the screen editing. Save that once again. Now if we enable and tell it to go to zero, we're working how we should. Well, that's it for part two. I'll see you in part three, which I'm going to start setting up some of my limit switches, home in and soft limits. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in part three.